While a lot of attention is rightly focused on efforts to find a coronavirus vaccine, there is also an intense effort underway to find more effective treatments. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with the latest on a new trial to test some promising candidates. Doc? Yeah, Kim, the fastest path, of course, to finding better treatments is looking at drugs that are already approved for different conditions. So a new study by the National Institutes of Health reviewed over 130 drugs and selected three to test in hospitalized patients that are battling COVID-19. We know that people who get the sickest with SARS-CoV-2 viral infection are people whose immune system actually overreacts to the presence of the virus that's how you end up in the ICU, maybe even on a ventilator. NIH Director Dr. Francis Collins says the new study will focus on drugs to help calm down that overreacting immune system. Think about it this way. Think about the virus is like a fire in your house. Maybe it's not terribly big fire and your sprinklers turn on to turn it uh, to put the fire out. And sometimes they put the fire out, but the sprinklers keep going, and then you end up with more water damage than you actually had from the fire. The goal is to find drugs that act like a control panel for the sprinklers, able to turn them down when the flames are out. The NIH study is testing Remicade, currently used to treat Crohn's disease, Orencia, a drug for rheumatoid arthritis, and CVC, an investigational drug by AbbVie. Patients in the clinical trial will randomly receive one of the three drugs or a placebo. Three different drugs, uh, two of them have already been in use for a long time for other conditions, but they might be just the thing here. One of them is a new uh, drug, but it's also been in trials for other purposes. And we're going to find out whether these are the kinds of things that can help the sickest people with this condition where we most need to save their lives. But Collins stresses the best thing is to have fewer people falling ill in the first place. It is really troubling to see how things are going up so steeply, and we all have a lot of work to do to try to get this turned around again. Yeah, now all of the patients enrolled in the clinical trial will also receive remdesivir, which is now standard in hospitalized patients that have COVID-19, and they could also receive the steroid dexamethasone or convalescent plasma at their doctor's discretion. So in fact, these drugs are being tested in addition to other treatments that we currently have, not in place of them. Yeah, I, I know these things take time, Dr. McGeorge, but how soon do the researchers hope to have some answers about these three drugs? Well, you know, Kim, the trial is scheduled to last about six months, but an independent review board will be monitoring the results at various points. And if they see a clear benefit from one or more of the drugs, that information might actually be available much sooner. Yeah, and we know you'll be following it for us. Okay, Doc, we appreciate it. Still ahead here at 6, a warning about a type of scam that's on the rise right now in Michigan.